in that school banking in the glory. Well, there's a bank crisis in the United States of America and many other countries. How about supernatural banking in the glory? Don't go away. We'll be right back after this one. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. One new man. The convergence of Jews and Gentiles. The two becoming one new man in Yeshua. When Jews and Christians become one new man in Messiah Jesus, we will experience a move of God such as the world has never seen. If you want to experience an explosive outpouring of God's spirit, God's love, God's power, then log on to www.sidrot.org to learn more about the one new man. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with Katie Sousa. So, Katie, what is this banking in the presence of God, banking in the glory? What do you mean by that? In this time of famine in, in the United States, we need all the help we can get. Sure. So we need tools in the natural and tools in the supernatural, too. And there is creative power in the glory cloud, so we can utilize that to begin to create finances and provisions for us. And I got a bunch of stories, so I'll just share them with you. Oh, I, I love it. Tell me about this uh, $21,000 debt. You think you got problems. <laughs> okay, so here we are, this legend ministry, and we've got, we've approved $21,000 worth of debt. So I put my whole team in a 21 day class. I said, no, you got to give me keys to be able to break this debt. And so during the fast, he gives me Psalm 100, which says, we enter in his gates with thanksgiving and his church with praise. He said, this is one of the ways that Jesus opened the heavens to get the glory card to come and cause the multiplication of provisions. And I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, where is that? And he says, I want you to read the story in Luke 9 about the multiplication of the fish and the bread. So I go to Luke 9. Jesus is feeding 5,000 people with five loaves and two fishes. And I saw it. I saw exactly how he did it, Sid. It said that, quote, Jesus took the five lambs and two fishes and looking up to heaven, praised God and gave thanks. What's going on? Jesus knows, I gotta feed a bunch of people with this little bit. I need the power, the creative power of the glory cloud. So that's why he first, quote, looked up to heaven. He's looking for the open heaven to get the power to get. And the next thing it says is then he's, he's praising God, gave thanks. What's he doing? He's doing a Psalm 100, entering into his gates with thanksgiving and his prince of praise. There's gates in the heavens. You, open, you can open them with thanksgiving. And then the glory cloud will fall and our praise, God's presence and his glory will have in our praises. So he's looking up to heaven. He says, okay, now I need to get it open. I'm using my thanksgiving and praise. He gets it open, the cloud drops. And the next thing it says is this. Then he spoke, he spoke a blessing over the God. What's he doing? He's doing what God did in Genesis 1 and God created the world. God had his glory cloud there and he spoke into the cloud. He said, let there be light. And there was light. Jesus gets the presence of the glory. He lifts the little bit of bread he has up into it and he speaks a blessing over the bread. He's literally commanding it to prosper or to multiply. And it does in the creative power of the cloud. Okay, that's well and good. That is Jesus. You learn these tools, if you will. Right. How does it play out with Katie, who's $21,000 in debt? Okay, so I see this revelation. I'm like, that's how he did it. I can do it too. So I did the exact but same you thing. You have the childlike faith, don't you? <laughs> you do. Well, the Bible says I didn't believe it. <laughs> and you also get revelation teaching. You're not like a normal teacher. You okay. teach by revelation. Yeah. A, a Jesus fast, you, you had, uh, I want to go back to the 21,000, okay. because Jesus, they, 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 you have a fast, you call it a Jesus fast, what is that? Totally focusing on Jesus, just worshiping, you know, doing songs that are about him, reading all the gospels, reading all the prophecies, reading everything about Jesus, spending our time meditating on him, speaking with him in our heart, and just doing that in a long period of time, and what happens is you begin to carry him and those can't really do that. Okay, okay. you owe 21 what do you so mean? here I am, I see that, I see it. I was like, oh, that's how Jesus did it. Oh my gosh, I can do the same thing, right? Okay. So I began to do exactly what Jesus did. I had $3,000 to pay on my $21,000 debt. So I took that little bit of money, like Jesus took his little bit of bread and fish, 
and I began to do a Psalm 100. You know, into the gates of heaven with thanksgiving and his place of praise. I just pressed and pressed and kept my focus and kept praising and thanking God. And when I felt the atmosphere change, I felt the burning and the glory. I felt like a heaviness on my shoulder. I knew the tangible presence of the glory was there and I had created people. So I lifted, I did what Jesus did. I lifted up my bread into the cloud and I spoke into the cloud of a blessing over it. I, I commanded it to multiply. So the day after the 21 day fast ended, we got a check for $21,000. Katie, as you're sharing this story, the atmosphere is changing. I believe that, I, I don't know what you mean by me, for those that are watching, but I believe that this atmosphere changing, you should move into this right now and call it. It's not only to go to debt, because you can do that first, then you can also cause finances to multiply for you. I, I took, I, I sent it up in the heaven and got a diamond that my husband made. My husband had been out of business for nine months and we needed, we needed financial income. I sent it up to heaven, got the, a diamond, came back down and God said, now command it to manifest in the glory. I did and we got a $250,000 miracle. You now, can now, do the but, same but, thing. The, the diamond though, was a, uh, it wasn't a real diamond, it, it was a, you saw it in the spirit. You saw it in the spirit and God says, I said, what is that? He goes, it represents what I have for you in the glory. And then you prayed for it to manifest as in heaven on earth, and how much money came in? Quarter of a million dollars. It's, it, now a lot of people are having difficulty believing this, <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, you have found a supernatural key. Now, if we are going into an economic crisis worldwide, and the Bible talks about the, the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous, there will be a wealth transfer. I believe that God has given you a key towards the wealth transfer. Yes, and once you learn how to cultivate the glory and speak in the cloud, then you can use this all the time for any situation to break debt, to cause an increase of financial income. It, it's, once you have the tool, you can use the tool over and over again. We've had so many financial miracles. $100,000, $32,000. All right, very briefly, give us a jump start on how we can ascend up into heaven and deep, get our answers to our prayers and bring them back to earth just like the angels did for Jacob. Well, use your faith. Use your faith. It says that by faith that Enoch was transcended into heaven. Pray that for us. Okay. Right now, I just want to break off anything that's on you that would hinder you from believing that you have the lead of the to ascend into heaven and get everything you need to cause your promises to come to 